The time has come now to fire the engine. John's just filling it with water. I've made this special attachment. It goes into the back of the oil pump. Take, I've got to take the belt drive belt off the oil pump. And I can turn that either with a socket on it or put it in the truck of electric drill. Spin the oil pump and get oil pressure up. Water for topping up. Where well, I fill the water. Yeah, good. But hopefully the water system self bleeding. High point at the back of the head bleeds into the, the expansion tank. And from the swirl pot bleeds into the expansion tank. Top of the radiator bleeds into the expansion tank. So water can flow down there into there ground and it will fill up the radiator and the air will come back out up to there. Think we should be ready. Are you ready? Yeah, recording. Is everything working okay? Yeah, we've got oil temperature 13 degrees C. Water at 23, 22, this is what because I put hot water in. Oil pressure obviously at zero because it's not running. Air temperature I've got that connected. Battery is 12.5 volt which is okay. Big battery connected. Auxiliary battery. Right, you ready? This time. Aluminium 
what they call fences are for. So I'll, I'll lay up fiberglass in there, then take those off then lay up fiberglass on there and bolt the two together. The moment this has been sprayed with PVA, previous to that it's got about eight coats of wax on it so it will release. These are all the pieces of chop strand mat with templates cut out for the um, wings. Many different pieces, many more up here. The first layer that goes on is actually called tissue. Very, very thin um, pieces of glass, that means that it's like a protective barrier, it stops the harshness of the chop strand mat showing through again, all pieces cut out, ready to go on. Got a variety of materials and tools, resin, gel coat, measurers, mixing pots and rollers and brush. I'm making the mould for one wing. Cut. First time I've ever done any fiber glassing. going to separate the wing from the mould. Say that again. That's the first piece off. Okay. I'll trim these all up. Now the main bulk of the wing. Loose there. Looks like around here. Ah, oh, yep. Ah, genius. Yep. And not a scratch of paint removed. That's what i put about seven eight layers of wax on there, plus release, PVA release agent, and it's worked. Beautiful. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> isn't it, yeah. Very good. Just trying to get this, this wing out. quite awkward to get out because it has to come out this way because of the radius there's a lip all the way around here so I'm removing the lip so when I make the original wing it'll have a very sharp corner on it but that's easy enough to file round the wing will come out you can see here the release agent this is PVA release agent that I used see how it's peeling off as a sheet which is Shows I've got a nice even coating there. That is quite impressive, is that? I did say it would peel off, but I never believed it would. The rest will wash off if need be, but it's water soluble. 